Revenge Films. It was springtime. I was out in the park in the city. It was pretty cold that day. There was a huge line at the Starbucks nearby. I guess everyone wanted a nice cup of warm coffee. The line extended to the outside of the store. It was almost my turn. Then, someone tapped on my shoulders. It was an old lady. She had a lot of makeup on. Then... Hey, could you buy these for me? Thanks. She handed me a piece of paper. She wasn't standing in line. Looks like she wants me to buy her drink for her. I looked at her note. I could barely read her handwriting. She wanted low-fat milk and extra whipped cream. <sighs> She's not even waiting in line, and I don't even know her. I just stood there in silence, not knowing what to say. She got impatient and said, I said buy these drinks for me, okay? She raised her voice. Huh? I said back to her. Ugh, our kids are with us. We don't want them to catch a cold in the crowd. You understand what I'm saying? Then she pointed at her group. Looks like she was here with her kids and her friends. But I don't even know her. Why is she ordering me around like this? Then she said, You're already in line, right? So what's the difference? Come on, take it. You understand what I'm saying? You speak English? I didn't know what to say to her. Finally, I gathered my thoughts and said, Um, excuse me, but do I know you from somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> the two girls standing in front of me started laughing. They were young, probably teenagers. Who does she think she is? <laughs> do you speak English? <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> what a weirdo. The lady looked furious. She turned to them, stared them down, and started yelling at them. You girls are so rude. Your parents should be ashamed. Look who's talking. She was starting to piss me off. Hey, just as I was about to say something, the girl stopped me. A uh, lady, listen. At least our parents taught us how to wait in line. You're not special. If you want a drink, you wait in line like everyone else, okay? Then, the other girl said, Yeah, if I did what you were doing right now, my parents would flip out. Even I know that what you're doing is wrong. That only made her angrier. You little, how dare you talk to me like that? You guys are so rude! She yelled at them, but the girls kept a cool head. Seriously? Look who's talking! Get in line like everyone else! Yeah, you got kids, so what? Look around you! See that mom over there with her baby? She's not complaining! Stop being a baby and get in line! And they were right. There were all kinds of people in line. There was a couple holding a baby and moms with strollers as well. Everyone started looking at her. Her face turned red. She crumpled up her memo, threw it at the girls, and went back to her friends. Forget it! But as she tried to leave, one of the girls yelled at her. Hey, apologize to her first! But she just kept walking away without saying a word. But the girl said everything I wanted to tell her, so I was pretty satisfied. Sorry for that, you two. I apologize to them. Then they said, Huh? Why are you apologizing? You're the victim here! That lady is crazy. Just forget about her. They were right. Thanks to them, I was feeling much better. Then, the lady behind me said, That was quite impressive, girls. Yeah, you guys look young, but you're very mature. Your parents must be proud. But you should learn to talk more like a lady. <laughs> the two girls started laughing too. After that, all of us started talking while we waited for our turn. 
It was my turn in no time. As I was about to order, I heard the two girls talking outside the store. I'm so hungry. Let's get a piece of cake to go. Looks delicious. So I told the clerk, Hey, could I get two pieces of that cake too? For them? The clerk looked confused at first. But her colleague who saw what happened outside earlier came up to her and explained things to her. She said okay and put the order through. I found a table and sat down. The two girls were a few tables over. The staff brought them the cake. They looked surprised and confused. Uh, I didn't order this, did you? Uh, no. Then the staff pointed at me. It's from her. She said with a smile on her face. They looked confused. Wait, what just happened? I don't know. Then they came over to my table. Did you get that cake for us? I nodded. You shouldn't have. Let me pay for it. They were so young, but they were so polite. Unlike that old lady, I couldn't help but smile. <laughs> you guys saved me back there. It's the least I could do. No, it's fine, really. Yeah, we didn't want to trouble you. I heard you guys talking about the cake earlier. I just wanted to thank you. What? No, this is too much. The ladies who were standing behind me came over and said, Hey, you two. You deserve it. Just enjoy it. Yeah, she's just trying to thank you. Thanks to them, the girls finally gave up and said, Thank, thank you. you. With a big smile on their faces. No, no. I'm the one that should be thanking you. I said back to them. They went back to their seats. Yay! I'm so happy! Free cake! I want this one! What about you? <laughs> They're so cute! I got them two of the most popular cakes in the store. It wasn't cheap, but I just had to thank them for what they did. It really meant a lot that they stood up for me back there. Young teenage girls used to scare me for some reason. Whenever I saw them in the city, I tried to keep my distance. But I guess I was just wrong. They really helped me out today. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. That's what I learned today. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.